handle this situation uh, in Zoom and what have you. Welcome to um, Jan, Anne and Charles um, from our community boards. Um, so we've uh, straight into this. No apologies um, that we've been told of. Uh, identification been no motion in regard to that. Um, has, is there anything of a minor nature someone would like to raise? I'll take that silence as no. Um, and uh, with and moving on with that, uh, declarations of uh, conflicts of interest. Thank you, everyone. Um, and again, Joe, if you see anything, just give us a heads up. Uh, okay. So moving Yes, cheers. Uh, moving on to the chairman's report since the last meeting, really it's, uh, we've had some annual uh, planning uh, discussions, some budget discussions around uh, and, and planning around that, and just our general meetings around where we're at and what that means for us around planning to, uh, within the COVID uh, situation. Uh, uh, so apart from that, that is my report. Um, I'll move that as uh, being read. Could I have a seconder, please? Councillor Wills. Thank you, uh, Parker. Yep. Awesome. <laughs> Favour. Sounds good. Against. So move. Uh, so confirmation. Moving on to uh, uh, number six. Uh, six point one. Confirmation of minutes from the uh, previous meeting. Uh, someone would like to move those, please, Councillor Parker. Thank you, and Councillor Gilchrist. All those in favour. Against, so carry. So moving to reports, uh, 7.1 investments and borrowing treasury report for the quarterly ending 31st of March, 2020. Uh, and I welcome uh, uh, Chief Financial Officer, uh, David, if you could um, uh, speak to that paper for me, please. Thank you, Mr. Chair. I'll take the report as read. Um, I'll just add a wee bit of, um we bit a comment around the environment that we're now working in. As you realise, we're in coronavirus, but even before, before that, we were, we were in a depressed economy. We're in a low interest rate environment. Um, and it's going to be quite interesting to see how like governments worldwide react to this. Um, there's not a lot of room for them to actually start moving, you know, reducing um, interest rates, because interest rates are, still, uh, are really low in terms of reserve banks and what have you that. So, it really comes down to how, the, how do they stimulate economies. So that's a, sort of a balancing it because the more stimulus um, you put into an economy, the more risk you have around um, increasing, you know, inflation and stuff like that. So a lot of the commentary that's been coming out around coronavirus and stuff is, you know, we're going to be in a, a depressed state for um, uh, an amount of time. I, I guess from a council perspective, while that does place pressure on cash flows, it does give us the opportunity to continue to borrow for some of our essential capex programs at lower cost. So uh, that's yes, that's just a side benefit. Um, so in terms of the report, it's pretty much business as usual. Please note that it was the 31st of March, so we only had about two or three days of the lockdown in it. Um, as a response to coronavirus, we um, are taking on more short-term deposits just to make sure we've got cash available to pay bills. In order to help our um, creditors, uh, suppliers, and that, we are, we've moved to paying bills weekly to um, you know, keep the cash flow going through those businesses locally. So I'm happy to take any reports around the report. So just a, just a quick one, then I'll go to uh, uh, Councillor Paddington and Joe, if you could uh, line them up for me and call them out after this, uh, as I say, because I'm limited. But uh, the, the financial strategy statement around the internal borrowings, um, you know, is you know deemed to increase significantly for our LTP, which we were looking at. It's um, will that change at all in terms of, of, of a strategy, or can you comment on that? Um. It really depends. Like if other fees and if it becomes we need cash to pay available to pay for everyday operating expenses. Just so it's more important and now that we have that cash available, we have that liquidity available to pay those things. So while we've still got a lot of cash and we have a lot of reserves there placed up, um, that's just something that we need to consider on a case by case basis, depending on what 
um, we need to do. I'm quite hesitant now to continue using that cash in the current environment, where, and we will be looking to take on more loans. Yeah, de definitely, that's what I was thinking um, our direction will be, and it's something we'll need as a council to discuss there and look at that um, yep. into, in more in depth. Thank you for that, David. Uh, Councillor Paddington? Yeah, thanks, David. Um, point 18, the weighted average cost of funds excluding mar margins was 2.7. We can now borrow at 1.31. 2.7 seems quite a bit higher than the benchmark. What rate did we lock C the Seabay development in for and how long? Because it's obviously having a massive impact on that. Or do we have, second part of the question, other long-term borrowings locked in and what were they for? Um, thank you, Councillor Pittington. So we, we do have a number of loans. Um, so, and, and as part of that, we also have what we call interest rate swaps, which cover, which hedge our, um, or mitigate our interest rate um, payments. So part of it, we were sort of forced by our policy back in 2014, I believe, into a high interest rate swap of about 6%. And there are another number of a couple of other loans and interest rate swaps which are running out in the next couple of years. So what you'll see is a reduction in that um, that that rate, uh, that um, borrowing, you know, uh, the average weight. Um, as to what they are, uh, as a treasury function, we usually, we borrow per se, we don't borrow for any one activity. So it's actually, we measure as a, we, we manage it as a whole pit activity and we just borrow at the current rates. So there'd be no point, David, in buying out that six plus percent one now that we can borrow at 1.31? Um, unfortunately, our interest rate swaps, there's no win in paying it out early because you, Effectively, I think believe um, the value of that one over C Bay was is about one million dollars. To get out of that, we're going to pay one million dollars. So um, the way the banks uh, price them is they don't want to take a loss on it, and so there's no no benefit, and it actually force our cash flow in this regard. Thank you. Thanks, Stu. That's a yeah. That's a really good observation, and and thanks, David, for that. Insight. Um, uh, do we have uh, uh, any more questions? Alan Booth, ready to go. Uh, Labou, thank you. <laughs> uh, David, the, the savings um, on interest. Then we've just rolled. You rolled twelve point five in uh, at one into one point three one. What does that? What sort of number does that equate to on a per annum basis on a saving? And also, you've mentioned you've got another ten million that you're going to roll in June. Uh, and what rate is that coming from? And I can assume it's probably going to go to a similar number. Would that be right? Uh, uh, yeah. All right. Thank you, Councillor Booth. Um, so that that ten million actually related to a Timber District Council bond that we issued back in 2012, and I think I believe that was around six percent. I can't remember offhand the exact details, but because uh, when we issued it, we were in a higher interest rate environment, it was subsequently higher. I have since um, renewed that for 180 days um, at around that 1.3%. So there are some savings there. And um, I forgot, the, uh, can you please uh, outline the rest of your question, sorry? Can you quantify the saving, please, the savings? Okay, so the saving is effectively between the the five percent and the one percent, or whatever it is. So, in terms of a numerical number, I, I could do some work on that and give it back to you, bring it back to you. Okay, so it's probably in the millions, though. It's a million. It, it's going to be a million per annum, roughly. Assume. Yeah. Also, um, five. So, say if it's oh, so that ten million. We had a ten million dollar bond. So if you take five percent of ten million which is 500,000 off the top of my head without using my calculator. Um, yeah, per annum. No, that, that's okay. Yeah. Thanks, Councillor Booth. And uh, I believe, uh, uh, B, do you have a question? or oh, some? No, sorry, I was just going to say, yeah, look, in round terms to Councillor Booth's point, yeah, uh, yeah, David's numbers are about correct. Um, you know, for every 10 million, if we say 5%, you know, his, um, his number there of uh, 500,000 is about correct. So 
there is a significant saving embedded in that as we roll off that particular uh, debt instrument and into a lower interest one. To answer your question, Councillor Booth. That's yeah. what I was after. Thank you, yeah. Thank you, B. Uh, so any further discussion, questions in relation to that? Someone like to move that uh, report be accepted? Uh, Your Worship, and a seconder, please, uh, Councillor Lyons. Uh, all those in favour? Against? So moved. Um, so yeah, we have uh, we have a lot of work to do, and this is just one of the instruments we're going to use going forward uh, as a council now to look at where we need to land. Um, so uh, thank you for your indulgence on that and for the discussion. Um, no, uh, from my uh, account, there are no matters of urgent business. We don't have any that we've moved forward from a minor nature. So with that, I'll call the meeting to a close and it is uh, 10.53. Uh, thank you very much.